Buddy passed up a layup opportunity. Oh, look at the nice move and finish by Buddy Heal. Hey guys, this is Trey Slate, Hoops and Christ trainer. I'm going to be showing you guys some pick and roll reads with Buddy Heald. And it'll just be going over some things that he's doing well, things he's seeing that I'm going to explain to you guys, as well as uh, maybe a few things he could do better and improve on. So let's get to it. First one is coming over the screen. Defenders trailing on his hip. And that's going to happen a lot of times with Buddy because he's such an excellent shooter. And so now he sees Maurice Spates, who's the guy guarding uh, Kali Stein right here, who's setting the screen. And Maurice Spates is really, really far back. I don't really know what he's doing there. So Buddy comes off the screen. Restart it. Buddy comes off the screen. He sees Maurice State. Maurice Spates way back. So he's going to continue to attack until he is stopped. So in this position, he can basically go all the way and shoot just a little floater. And that's exactly what he does. Boom. And one. So that's a pretty good read by Buddy right there. Okay, next one you got Kali Stein again coming to set the screen. You see him jump to an ice position. Now ice position is, uh, this is defender jumping, forcing uh, the ball to the baseline, not letting Buddy use the screen and come off middle. You'll see this a lot in the NBA, and a lot of college teams do this as well. So he ices it. Now Zaza right here has got to take the ball. So Buddy comes off the screen, does a good job freezing him a little bit with the in and out. It's a tough, tough step back. Here we go. Get we got a little dribble handoff. Buddy's here. Got a little dribble handoff follow action. So. You got dribble handoff, and then you got a screen falling directly behind it. So Buddy comes off, does a good job again of freezing the defender with the in and out. Pop, that's a tough shot. I'm gonna rewind that, let y'all see that one more time. That's too far, that's perfect. So, coming off, defender's gotta go over again. And he sees this defender right here playing a little far back. So he's going to uh, freeze him with the in and out. Bang. Good. Good read. Good shot. Here. This is probably my, one of my favorite clips of the, of the pick and roll breakdown on this. So we got screen coming. The reason why I like this one the most is because Buddy shows a lot of patience. He goes between his legs, kind of floats, just kind of reading the defender. See how he, he reacts to the between the legs right here? He just steps behind. Bang. Gotta put a hand up, gotta cut his airspace a lot more than that if you wanna if you wanna guard him effectively. So play it again. Floating. Boom, doesn't react, doesn't step up. Bang. You cannot sink to screen level. You got you must be able to shoot this shot to be an effective player in the pick and roll. This if the screen's coming, the screen's coming being set below the three-point line, and your defender sinks into the screen. You gotta be able to step back and pop this. Bang. Here's another uh, really good clip. So here we go again. Buddy rejects the, the screen to step up, kind of an ice situation where this big is gonna take the ball on the sideline over here. So Buddy comes off, and, and this is one of the this is a big improvement for Buddy uh, throughout the year. He didn't do this at the beginning of the year. At the end of the year, he started doing this a lot better. So he sees the big taking the ball here. So he's back right here, but he's not back far enough for Buddy to just step in here for a shot. But he's back just far enough for Buddy to, to bring the ball back in here where there's room. You see here? You got the sideline here, which is X is another defender in the big here. So there's not a lot of room to go over in this area. He'd kind of be coming way out here. So instead, but he's gonna come back middle where there's room and make a play. And that's exactly what he does. Comes back middle. I'm not really sure what he's doing here, running in this way, but Buddy's able to make a really tough contested shot. He's done that his whole career. Now here's one where I think Buddy can get a lot better. And this is just really being patient with the screen. 
So, but he's gonna come off this in vain. This is this is what I'm talking about with the patience. So he comes off and he has a defender behind him, trailing on his hip. But he's got to keep this guy right here on that hip and just keep dragging him out and keep DeAndre kind of in that. Uh, he doesn't really know to stay with Buddy or to, or to go back to Collie Stein. So you got to keep DeAndre Jordan right here kind of guessing what to do. And this is where Buddy's got to make some improvements. So I'm going to rewind it a tad. So he comes off. And here, this is where he's got to keep him on his hip. Keep dragging him out. Keep playing with the little in and out. Stay here and make DeAndre kind of keep staying here, keep sinking back, and maybe he can, Buddy can shoot a little floater or a little 15 footer, or if DeAndre just decides to kind of jab and go, he can go all the way to the rim, but he doesn't keep the defender on his hip very good and he's able to kind of recover off that and DeAndre kind of messes with him. He does a really uh, good job here. And he shoots this difficult shot. And, uh, it, now this one, Buddy does a lot better job uh, showing some patience with the ball screen coming off and uh, seeing what the defense is giving him and uh, making the right play. So, but he's gonna come off here. Oh, notice there's a switch. It's calm, just step back, bang. I want you to see it again with live action. Live action, so comes off. Notice they switch, pop, great read. 